Alright guys, welcome back. This is Psycho Enigmas WWE 2K16, my career mode. We are part 18. We're in the week of the arrival pay-per-view, or network special as I should probably call it. We're facing off with Finn Balor one more time. We faced him in the last part, if you want to go back and check that out. We also faced Baron Corbin. Last, last episode, you know, went a bit longer than anticipated. Good episode, recommend going back and watching it. We're going up against Balor again, leading into the pay-per-view. Keep calling it a pay-per-view. They're definitely network specials. Definitely network specials, but... All right, Balor. See what we can do. Oh, here we go. Referee calling for the matchup. Oh, Balor, what the hell was that? Oh! Finn bringing the aggression. Damn right, this is going to be a brawl. We're taking this guy out. It's fine. You take that. What? I didn't want to go up there. I don't care. YOLO! <laughs> oh, God. Diving from the top rope failed miserably. I was meant to go for a steel chair. But I heard Lawler, who for some reason is commentating on NXT, that he felt the shove was on purpose. Here it comes. And... Oh, dropping Balor on the back of his head. Oh, no. Balor now. Oh. Short arm shoulder tackle into the cover. Hooks the leg. And there's a kick out. Balor now. Going with those repeated elbow strikes to the head. Oh. Here it comes, Balor, to the top. Oh, apparently too late on that one. Balor going to the second rope now. Oh, we rolled out of the way. And now, clubbing blow to the back of the head. Here we go, this is our spot. This is our spot. We need to build some momentum now. Face into the canvas. Do it again. Do it again. Oh no, Balor reversed it that time. To the gut. Here it comes. Off the ropes. Balor to the outside. Holt with a body blow. Going to the top now. Looks like he's waiting for Balor to stand. Here he comes. Oh, the drop kick. Second time he's come from the top rope to the outside. Oh, right into the ring apron. Oh, and Balor fighting these two. Are they going to fight to a count out again? The back and forth. There's the jawbreaker. And an exploder suplex. And he's facing to the floor. Drops the elbow. Oh, what's he got? Hole's got a hammer. Hole's got a hammer. Is he gonna? Is he gonna use it? No, he goes into the ring. Couldn't bring himself to use the hammer against Finn. Oh, but the butterfly suplex. Oh. Oh, here comes Balor with the comeback. Oh no. And Finn with the sling blade. Here it comes now. Balor. Looking to build momentum. Holes into the corner. Oh no. Here comes this drop kick. Hole doesn't know where to stand. Balor. With the running drop kick. Oh, viciously into the corner. Head snapped against the turnbuckle. Oh, a hole. Getting out of the corner. Balor trying to set him up for the coup de gras. Here comes Hole, climbing to the top. Can he hit him? Can he get him? There's the splash! Bauer rolls out of the way. Rolls him over. Oh, he's straight into the cover. Oh, but Hole powers out. I was back to his feet. Finn, you should probably turn around straight into a super kick. One. Two. Oh, and Finn Balor. 
Finn Balor kicking out of the super kick. Now here comes Holt with the snap suplex. Oh no, Holt going into the pin off that suplex. There's one and two. Balor kicking out again. This match has just been 100 miles an hour from start up until this point. They're looking for something. Holt again with a suplex. He used the strategy against Corbin with this multiple suplexes trying to wear him down. Hold now, looking to go to the legs. Going to target the legs of Finn Balor. Balor's finish is the coup de grace. And he can only set it up if he can come off that top rope. Oh, he's going for it again. Just re repeatedly driving that knee into the mat. Oh, and kicking now the other leg. This attack is ferocious. Working over the legs into the cover now. One. Two. Oh, and Balor. Balor just found it in himself to kick out. I oh, can't believe it. The attack on the legs was very, very vicious. Oh, Balor. Balor building momentum now. Here it comes. Balor into the corner. Turns him around. Oh, here comes that drop kick again. Hull managed to get out of the way before. Balor. Oh, there it is. Oh, he went for a running drop kick. He went for a running drop kick. Hull's capitalized. Hull's got him up. Oh, he got him back down for the psycho driver. Here it comes. Balor must be out. Balor's got to be out. Hull, can he get to his feet? Just about rolling him over, hooking that leg. The are There's one, two. Oh, <laughs> don't tell me that's the resiliency. It's the resiliency. He no, he didn't use resiliency. What the hell? It was the shoulder tackle. Into the corner. Balor's getting to his feet. Here comes Holt with the elbow. He was disorientated. He's gone straight over Finn. Balor's up to the top. Oh, there it is, though. Oh, the Super Hurricane Rana. Will that do it for Holt? One. Two. Three. He is pinned. The NXT champion. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. These guys just throwing everything at each other so fast, so hard, so early. There was the splash from Hull, which completely missed its target. Balor obviously immediately went for the cover. Who could blame him? Hull worked over the legs in the mid part of the matchup. Balor somehow managed to fight his way out of that. Here was the super kick. Balor walked right into it. Popping up off the pinfall attempt. And this was where Hull was working over the legs. He couldn't believe it after taking out Balor's legs. Here it came though, Hull whiffed an elbow, Balor went up for the coup de grace, Hull popped up and gave him a super hurricane rana. And it was enough to put him away. And on Superstars it would appear that we are going to have to talk about Tyler Breeze. Well, 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 Tyler, Tyler Breeze. We're going to go at it one more time, apparently. Who else is on this card? What about... Of course he's not on the card. Why would Finn Balor be on the card? It's not like he has to try and build momentum going into a title defense. Los Angeles. Or as I call it, quoting the Stone Cold podcast, Los Angeles, California. Hopefully we're not too far away from 316 Gimmick Street. Been listening to a lot of the Stone Cold podcast recently. It's a good, good listen. Here he comes, though. Is 
You damn right. No, I will not record superstars each and every week, Jerry Lawler. Shut the fuck up. It's not even good. My match is the only match you want to see. Put in a four and a half star clinic with Baron Corbin last week. Tyler, you don't even deserve an entrance as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Cesaro and Kid and Roman Reigns. There's two complete stark contrast of fans. Oh, look, it's Tyler Breeze. Tyler, do you know what? I don't care about you. And I'm not being funny. I legit don't care. Could you please move out of the way? Ugh. Take that. It's <laughs> just... No! I don't give a shit. I did not give a shit about Tyler Breeze or any of... Just... No, I beat him so many times. I was not prepared to do it. Again, here's what's important. Arrival, next time, Hull, Balor, NXT Championship. We may have beaten Finn Balor on NXT, but can we beat the Demon? That is the question for next time. One-on-one, -on -one, Hull versus Balor, NXT title on the line. My first opportunity, and I will not, I cannot squander that opportunity thank you very much for watching leave a like if you've enjoyed and comment any feedback down below that would be much much appreciated and remember to subscribe because next time titles on the line